Hello, welcome to number one of the question. I've done the other quiz question. This is the, the processor question. It's live on the video on, on, on the playlist. You can go and check it out and answer your question. This number one is the compiler. So write a script that compile a C file but does not link. Okay. The file name will be saved in the variable. This variable here, yeah, this variable here, yeah, that is where the file is saved. Okay. Now, what we'll now do is the output file be named the same as the file, as this file here, yeah, as this C file. Okay. But the extension will be this. Okay. Instead of .c. Okay. Example of the file. Example if the file is main.c. The output should be main.o, right? So let's go into it now, okay? Okay, so what do we do now? Let's go and copy our compiler, the file name. Remember, this is our repository, this is our directory. Now, what do we do? We first of all, we create our main.o let me make it big so that you can see my screen very well main dot okay now press the insert i key on your board here yeah. i key on your on your keyboard then you copy this code here just copy this code here yeah. Copy it there. Then type it inside. Okay. Make sure you type it. Form, paste, copy and paste. Type it so that you can have a feel of it, right? Then exit escape. Press the escape key. Shift column X. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do is to export. C file goes to main dot C. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do. Let me read the, the question again. The next thing we are going to do now is to create this compile. This one. This this this. Uh, file names okay that's what we are going to do so let me scroll down to get the name to avoid any typo this name so the next thing we are going to do now is to go to our v go to our v and click on the name and we enter it press insert mode then you type in the, the answer for that so remember to use the first line, then slash beam, slash bash, enter, then g c c g dash c dash dollar c five as the variable name. Okay. Then you press the escape key on your keyboard, press shift column X. You can see that right here. Yeah. And escape. So if uh, we make we make our we make our, our file executable by going to the file mode A for all users A plus X, then the file name. And then we compile it and the next thing we are going to do is to check for our run this to see if it will work okay it has worked that is why you're not seeing any error so we list uh, if we press this now you see these are files complete them so now let's add it up to git add all all okay add File name, then 
be it, they are going to commit M um, as a final one. Okay, then let us push to it. Okay, that's it. Now let's go and check if it is correct. Before now, let's see what we have. And see that it's not correct. Let's see now if code uh, run. Let's be sure. Oh, fantastic! So it's correct. So that's it. Let me reduce my screen back so that you can see. That's it. So that's all for question one. We'll get back to question two shortly. So thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.